Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Destiny, and today's video is going to be on some of my favorite chunky jewelry for spring. It's a really big thing right now, and a lot of the jewelry out is a lot bigger, so I want to go ahead and jump into some of my favorite pieces because I get a lot of questions about what piece this is and what piece that is. So I actually want to start out with the earrings that I have on, and these are from Forever 21, and the reason I'm starting with these earrings is, number one, they're like my most recent purchase. I have two pair. I have these pearl and I have these black ones. And I also have a, another pair from them right here. And if you watch my videos frequently, you will have seen these in my last um, video or two ago. These are actually, all three of these are from Forever 21, like I said. And they're really inexpensive, about $3.80 a piece. And I really like these type of um, earrings because these are clip-ons, if I haven't showed you in my other. They're clip-ons and they're really comfortable to wear and they're really cute and they're not super dangly so if you're a person who doesn't like super dangly earrings you don't have to worry about that because you can get to wear a, a bigger piece of statement jewelry that isn't dangling or doing something annoying like I'm not the biggest fan of earrings that hang like not anymore but I really like these a lot so here these are again they were 380 I think these are really really cute and then I also have uh, the pearl ones they showed you, and then the teardrop ones, all from Forever 21. And then I have these, which are really, really cute. And these are actually from purplepaparazzi.blogspot.com. And I love this jewelry. I think this is so pretty. Now, this is a bigger piece, and it is dangly, but it's not super huge, and it's not going to get all tangled in your hair and a whole bunch of other nonsense. I think these are really, really pretty. Got these both from purplepaparazzi.blogspot.com. And um, like them a lot. Oh, let me go ahead and address this really fast because I know I'm going to get questions and let me do it early in the video because I know sometimes you may not watch the whole video. On my lips I have, uh, this is Papaya from Revlon. I have on my favorite Sonia Kashuk eyelashes. And then black liner, two brown shadows, my two favorite brown shadows, and a little bit of a blue eyeliner on the bottom. Just in case I get questions, I'm going to go ahead and address that early on so you um, know what I have on. And then I also have, okay, so I want to do all earrings right now. I'm going to show these because I wear these a lot and they should have been closer to me. But um, these right here, these are really cute, like button type earrings. I have the orange pair and, oh, you've seen these. Okay, I have this kind of purplish pair right here. Hopefully you can see that. My camera really annoys me sometimes. The purple and the orange pair, those are from H&M and I really, really like those because they're really cute, bright, and colorful, but they're not huge. And then I have, I'm trying to make sure I show everything and kind of show it fast, but I want to show it in categories, so I'm going to go for all earrings. I have these, which I really, really like, and I actually bought these from New York. They were a dollar. If you go along um, 6th Ave, and even down um, towards 7th, 34th, 5th, 6th, or if you go to Chinatown or Koreatown, they have lots of inexpensive jewelry shops. So those are a dollar, and I got this from New York a long time ago. And then I kind of want to move on to rings, and I have quite a few rings. I have this one, which I love. It's a stretchy, it's a stretchy ring, as you can see here. And I got this from Target. And I really, really like this because I wear all these colors all the time. And it actually matches my nails, so I'm going to keep that on. But again, I got that from Target. I got this, I believe, from H&M. And it's starting to change, but I don't mind because it kind of makes it look vintage. So it's starting to change, but I got this, I believe, from H&M. And I got this one from Target, which I actually really love. It kind of has, like, some flowers on the side. You can see, I'm going to put that nice and close. And then in the middle, a big black jewel around the edge, and it has some pink. And um, these rings were about 6 or $7, I believe. So that is that with the rings. Actually, I have two more rings. Let me see. Um, I got this one from a jewelry store, and this is actually real silver and some jewels in there. It's really, really nice. I used to wear this one all the time. I was really into cocktail rings a couple years ago. So I have that one. And then I have this one, which is also starting to change. And I got this one from Express, I believe, last summer. And I really like this a lot because um, I like the dark color of the metal. It's really, really nice. And that was about $5. 
So next, I'm going to go ahead and just do watches because I don't have a lot of watches. This one, I get a lot of questions about. This one, I mean, the brand says Geneva, made in China. And I really like the color of this watch because I wear this color a lot. And it goes, oh, sorry about that. It goes with these earrings really, really well. And this is about $20, and I just got this from one of those little kiosks that you see in the mall, or I actually got that from Hollywood Highland Mall for really inexpensive. And then uh, I got this one, which doesn't really have a brand, New York. I got this from just a little cheap jewelry store, a little cheap watch, really, really cute. I really like the black band and um, the little diamonds around the face. I have one missing. So I really like that one a lot. Men's wear watches are really uh, popular. They're classics. They're always going to be in, so it's not like it's super trendy or anything like that. And then the next is all earrings. Actually, no, I have two bracelets. I have a lot more bracelets than this, but these are my biggest bracelets, and I kind of wanted to show more bigger jewelry. Um, this I got from H&M. It actually has two skinny bracelets that came with it. And I think that was for about $5. Then I got this from forever 21 and i got this around new year's and i think this is like 580 and i have two of these and i like to wear these when i wear maxi dresses because it feels very grecian and i really like this a lot and now on to the necklaces and i'm going to start with my most popular two necklaces okay so this one everybody asked me about this necklace I wore this in my Katy Perry music video just recently. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Well, actually, it's not Katy Perry. It's more alien inspired, but this is the necklace I wore, and this is from H&M. And I bought this about two summers ago. I don't know if it's still available. I don't know what it's called or even how much I paid for it, but I'm pretty sure it was on the upside of maybe like $10. But I really like it a lot. It's like a bronzy color, and it's, it's kind of heavy. It's really cool. It's a really really nice necklace my mom actually loves this necklace and what I like about it is it kind of matches these earrings right here they all have that kind of antique bronze color which I really like because when I do buy fashion jewelry I like to kind of go bronze or antique gold or silver so this way if it does start changing it doesn't look so obvious okay and then my next necklace also from H&M also very popular is this one right here and I like this because you can change the length of it by kind of sliding the knots and adjusting it but yeah this one's really really popular it's a really nice necklace as you can see it's very chunky like a chain link type of thing bronze and gold rope very very nice and you could wear these with some like uh, knot earrings and that would look really really nice together kind of nautical with the roping and everything like that I have two three more pieces from purplepaparazzi.blogspot.com you definitely have to go check her out she hand makes this jewelry it is absolutely beautiful this is not showing up true to color this is a lot more vibrant and a lot more bold than it's showing up this is a beautiful necklace and I absolutely love it because it's made on wire so you don't have to worry about it popping actually is that yeah it's like on a wax coated wire so you don't have to worry about it popping and you can double it you could wear it single or you could wear it as a belt. And I really, really like this a lot. Purplepaparazzi.blogspot.com. And then this also came with it. A nice bracelet. And a lot of her pieces are one of a kind. So you definitely got to go check her out. This also came from Purple Paparazzi. I don't know why I can't say that right. Purplepaparazzi.blogspot.com. And I got this. And I absolutely love this. I get so many compliments on this necklace. It's very pretty. It's a very, very nice color combination. Plenty of girls would like this. You don't have to be from Africa or from any of the islands to really enjoy this beautiful necklace. I love this. It's so, it feels so quality. It's a nice, heavy piece, heavy jewels. Very nice. Okay. And then a necklace kind of similar to that I got from H&M. And this is just a fruity wild necklace with a million colors in it. And I love this necklace in particular because you can wear this with just about anything. There's purple in it, blue, gold, brown, bronze, white, orange, yellow, green, beige, teal, copper. Every kind of color is in here and it's really cute and it's wooden. So it looks a lot heavier than it is. And I got this from H&M about a summer ago. 
and I really really like it a lot really really like this necklace I have to start wearing it more actually okay so that's that I got this necklace um, which I don't even know if I've ever worn this in any videos from a street vendor in New York for a dollar and I thought it was really cool and I actually like to wear this with a fedora uh, something about the color combination and just the vibe of it. I like to wear this with my fedora. And it has two little fish on it and some wooden beads. And it's just really nice and kind of ethnic looking. And it looks like it's worth more than it is in my opinion. Because every now and again you have those jewelry designers who make the, these really like almost childlike child art looking pieces and they're selling for like three thousand dollars so I kind of like the vibe of this necklace a lot with the two fish and the wooden beads and my mom actually likes this necklace a lot too I just my mom okay so I have another necklace from a New York vendor and this is right here and I actually got this also for a dollar and I really really like this a lot actually I got this from the village like 14th of 14th street next to Cinderella Club not Cinderella Club there's like a cheap store next to it and I got this necklace and you can double this up and have a choker and um, yeah and it has like some silver kind of mesh balls some beads and then some black balls with look like eyeballs in it really cool nice long necklace you can just swoop it over your neck and wear it I think I'll wear that now I got this bronze bowling necklace from Old Navy last summer. I really like this a lot. I like the brown. It's kind of like on suede rope. It's adjustable and has three layers of bronzy balls. And I like <laughs> bronzy balls. And I really like this necklace a lot because of the layered effect. Really pretty. I like bronze jewelry a lot. And then I have three necklaces, which are all pretty much the same, different colors. I have an orange bead bib necklace, really, really pretty. I like to wear these actually like this sometimes when I'm feeling, you know, a little funky or whatever's going on. I have black, really pretty with some silver beading. And I have green, really pretty with some silver and orange beading in there as well. And if you can remember correctly, like last summer, summer two bib necklaces were everything. And not even just those types, like the cloth with the jewels on top and then the tie in the background. They're really, really popular. So I think that's it. One thing I want to say is that this necklace in big jewelry trend or phase or craze or whatever it's also a classic like they're always going to be in style they may be more popular at one time than the other but I think that a lot of these pieces are something nice to invest in though none of these pieces were expensive I think the most expensive piece honestly I don't know maybe this one because I, I don't really buy a whole bunch of really expensive costume jewelry but, you know, it's something really nice to have in your collection. And you're going to be able to find a lot of these pieces, especially right now, um, really readily available and with lots of different variations and then very cheap as well. So always check your thrift stores, your swap meets. You know, if you live in New York, definitely go to Canal Street and then 34th, and China and Koreatown and then the Brooklyn markets and everything like that. Here in LA, we have the alleys and um, we have lots of swap meets and different stores and different places like that. And I haven't really lived anywhere else. I know in Jersey, you can try out on Market Street and stuff like that. Get some of these cheap, really cute pieces. But that's it, guys. Um, yeah, I'm sorry if I'm blinking a lot. I have like something in my eye and it's killing me. I think an eyelash or something. But as always, guys, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for commenting, rating, and subscribing. I'll be in touch and hopefully you'll do the same.